Twyla's mom, and today is Monday, November 21st. Let me double check. Yep, the 21st. Just a few more days till Thanksgiving. So, since it's Monday, you all know what that means. It's question of the week. Yeah, my question of the week is... Oh, I've got all these little flyaways. That's not the question. <laughs> My question of the week is, when do you put up your Christmas tree? Do you guys have a tradition on a particular day that you will put it up? Um, our tradition is the weekend after Thanksgiving. We put our Christmas tree up and we start wrapping presents almost immediately. Yeah, I don't wrap any presents until I have the tree to put them under because um, I don't want to forget where I put them and I don't want to forget what they are. <laughs> but anyway... We will put up our Christmas tree the weekend after, usually the Saturday after um, Thanksgiving. We do it all, all at once, all the decorating. We will put up the tree. We will put um, all the other decorations up in the living room. We will do the kitchen decorations. Don't do a lot in the kitchen, but we have a few things. And we have a few things for the bathroom. Can you guys hear that? Well, she stopped. Yeah, it's the cat. <laughs> um, but we used to hang um, lights up outside and things like that. And as the kids got older, it just kind of lost its flair. <laughs> it's cold and it's windy here in December. I'm going to have to pause you guys because of that cat. Let me go let her out real quick. Okay, everyone? Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I had to let the cat out. Um, all of you know she's an indoor-outdoor cat. She prefers to use the facilities outside, and that's fine with me. <laughs> um, where was I? Um, yeah, the outdoors. I still hang a wreath, and I still have a few things I'll put on the um, the mailbox and on our gate. But I we really don't hang lights anymore. What I do, though, is I will hang lights on the inside of the windows. Um, so that way, you know, we still have a little bit of nighttime decoration that people driving by can see. But, yeah, it's just... Like I said, it's cold and it's windy, and we don't really get snow a whole lot. January and February, sometimes March, is the snow months for us here in um, Missouri, in my part of Missouri. Um, and it's just so windy. We will get some rain. In fact, this Wednesday, they're calling for some rain. Um, or is that Tuesday? Might be Tuesday. Anyway, we will get some rain and and everything. But, um, yeah, we don't do a whole lot of decorating outside for Christmas. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Yeah, we put up the tree. And we do, we do all of the decorating. We just get it all said and done. And then we don't have to worry about it. And there you go. It's all done. So anyway, do you guys wait, you know, until a couple of weeks before Christmas? We have bought real trees in the past, and um, we went ahead and put them up just like every other day. We had to water. We had to water the real tree um, because if you don't, wow, it's, it's, it'll just dry out, and you'll get needles everywhere. You take a chance of your house catching on fire. You know, or the tree. Um, let me have a little sip here. So, we we go ahead and put, when we've had the real trees, we've always just went ahead and put them up. We just, I always had it marked on the calendar, um, the kitchen calendar. And if you watered the tree that day, you marked off the W. We always put a W on every other day. 
<laughs> and uh, sometimes I would do it. Sometimes my son would do it. Sometimes, you know, my husband would do it. Um, I finally, finally, finally talked my husband into buying a tree, an artificial tree. I want to say it's been about four years now, about four years. The biggest reason is, is because we would take it down and it would sit. It would sit out by the garage door for a month before it would finally take it off because we don't have curbside pickup for real trees. We don't. You have to take them to, it's not the landfill, it's, um, it's near the landfill here in my town where they will take your yard waste and they grind them up and mulch them and stuff. And they do it free of charge, but um, it's only specific hours in the day and specific days of the week. So it was always kind of hard to catch that particular day. So yeah, it would take about a month for us to get rid of this tree. So I finally talked him into it. I said, please, can't we just get an artificial tree? Um, and you know what? The first year we put it up, my mom walked in the door and um, she's like, oh, you've got a nice tree this year. It's so nice and full. And I was burning a pine candle, pine cone candle. It smelled, and she goes, it smells so nice. I'm like, well, Mom, that's an artificial this year. Oh, <gasps> you got an artificial tree finally? And yeah. <laughs> yeah, I finally talked him into one. So, but um, <clears throat> anyway, um, let me know. Let me know when you guys uh, traditionally or do you just fly by the seat of your pants and, oh, okay, today's the day we're putting up the tree. Um, and if you put up a tree, my parents don't put up a tree anymore because they usually come to my house for um, Christmas or like this year, they're going to go to my sister's house for nearly the whole month of December. So there was there's no sense in them even putting one up this year. Um, but they very seldom, I don't remember the last time my parents had Christmas at their house. Um, so, yeah, they, I think mom puts up a few things, you know, like special candles and um, things like that, but they don't put up a tree anymore. Uh, so, yeah, let me know if you guys even bother with a tree. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it, everyone. I just would like to know when you guys put up your Christmas tree. We will be putting ours up this Saturday. <laughs> and I bet you by Sunday night, I have a few presents already wrapped in under there. <laughs> so anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Give a thumbs up and leave me a comment below and let me know. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.